Hey everyone, we're going to try something today for Tears of the Kingdom. I have a, a theory that I want to talk about in regards to dungeons in the game. Look, we already talked about how we think dungeons are coming back anyways. However, they're probably coming back in a different way. And I think I have some evidence to show that we are going to get themed dungeons in Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I want to note that this is definitely entering, not just in the speculation and theory territory, but spoiler territory, because we will be referencing things from the Zelda art book that leaked. I do not want you guys to watch this video and be spoiled in any way if you do not want to see or hear about these art book pages. I totally understand that. You can click off the video, but I do think it's important that we discuss this since it is one of the most divisive things people are talking about when it comes to Tears of the Kingdom. They want dungeons to come back, but they don't just want them to come back. Some want them to be super traditional. Some want them to be a blend of both. And one thing that almost everyone can agree on is that they would like to have different thematic elements in the dungeons. So before I dive into this thought process and theory and provide the proof, I want to remind you that we are giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom if we can hit 100,000 subscribers by the time the game comes out. So what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and let's jump right into this theory. So really it all begins in the art book, again spoilers here, on page 154. That page seems to display what looks like a dungeon of sorts. It's a room. It's lava filled. It definitely looks like maybe this is a Death Mountain dungeon or some other crazy uh, fire style dungeon that you enter. And what's interesting is we see something that resembles something that I think is similar to Breath of the Wild. If you remember the Divine Beast, you had to do four or five terminals in order to gain access to eventually fight the bosses, right? Well, in here, we see a door that has five of these face figures seemingly holding a chain that is preventing a door from opening. And we see a, a, an image here that shows that those can be activated, those mouths holding the chains, to open up and let go of the chain. And in doing that, it naturally should allow you to open that door and fight the boss. Now, this is a very similar way to Breath of the Wild with the five terminals, so you might not actually like this versus having to find a boss key of sorts, but this also lends the belief to a couple of things. One, this dungeon is very clearly themed after lava slash fire, so that is awesome, and unless you think every dungeon in the game is going to be fire themed, this would heavily suggest to me that we have themed dungeons coming back. Now, in terms of the doing five things to unlock the door and be in similar to Breath of the Wild. This is where you get that blend of the way Nintendo approached Divine Beast and the traditional dungeons. You have the traditional themed dungeon, and then you obviously blend in the fact that instead of finding boss keys, because, hey, we technically have never seen a boss key in Breath of the Wild, so maybe it just doesn't exist anymore, or maybe Ganondorf has gotten smart and realized just leaving giant keys around inside a dungeon to access the very thing is maybe not a way to go, and that there's going to be five different tasks you're going to have to complete in order to unlock the door. I don't think that that's actually bad. Uh, the unlocking terminals in Breath of the Wild to me was never actually a problem. It was more so the thematic elements, some of the similar feeling puzzles at times, and obviously a lot of us would like to see mini bosses, sub bosses come back. But even if we don't get mini bosses, because let's say they don't do a mini boss type thing, it would be nice to have some unique enemy types in each dungeon. But more than that, how about unique bosses? That's the big thing. You can create a nice sprawling dungeon that makes us have to do five different things in a non-linear fashion. I'm cool with that, but the boss fights need to be epic. The reward at the end needs to be this amazingly epic one-of-a-kind boss fight like we've gotten in pretty much all other Zelda games about Breath of the Wild. So, uh, as long as we get that payoff with the boss fight and the dungeons are all uniquely themed with their own style of enemies and their own style of puzzles, I think I'm okay with this this concept. Now again, we can't definitively know that this is a dungeon, but it seems pretty obvious to me from these art book pages that they are indeed a dungeon. Now this might worry some people, of course, that do not like 
the way Breath of the Wild did the Divine Beasts at all. You don't like the openness of solving them in any order and having to do five things to unlock a door. I get you. I understand that. But I think what we need to understand heading into the Tears of the Kingdom, it is a direct sequel. And anything they do with dungeons are likely to be a blend of what they already were doing in Breath of the Wild with stuff in the past and maybe some new approaches moving forward. Dungeons are extremely divisive, I think, in Tears of the Kingdom, but also important to many different people. So, and again, this is just one type of dungeon. Maybe it's possible that we are not going to do a five thing in every dungeon. Maybe it's just this specific dungeon does that. Other dungeons might do it in different ways. That would be really cool as well if the dungeons become unpredictable. In the past, all the dungeons have always been predictable. Like we could talk about how in, you know, you know, Breath of the Wild that oh the dungeons felt samey, had the same aesthetic, similar style boss fights, at least aesthetically. And I understand that. But honestly, all dungeons in the past were pretty simple too. Like, or similar, right? A lot of the puzzles might have some unique elements, like maybe you're pushing blocks in an ice cavern or you're, you know, lighting torches in uh you know a volcano or something like yeah sure there's some unique aspects to some of the puzzles but ultimately you're going to a mini boss you're finding small keys to progress you're trying to find the boss key you're trying to find the map and the compass to fight a big boss at the end the structure of each dungeon was pretty similar how we conquered that structure would be different but the structure was similar, so it actually would be neat to me if Nintendo decided to explore this idea of blending old with new, not just together in the same dungeon, or not just trying to form a new concept for a dungeon, but what if each dungeon in Tears of the Kingdom fundamentally ends up completely different from prior dungeons. You can have a traditional style dungeon. You can have a more Breath of the Wild S dungeon. You can have a combo of the two. You can have a brand new style open air dungeon. There's a lot of really interesting concepts here. I think Nintendo could potentially explore with Tears of the Kingdom because I do not think they're just going to completely revert back to what dungeons used to be because that doesn't really seem to jive with what they did with Breath of the Wild and what we've seen so far in Tears of the Kingdom where they're trying to do new things. I also don't think they're just going to look at Breath of the Wild and just copy-paste because, again, then it's not a game able to stand out on its own. And they said they had so many unique ideas, that's why they made this game. And I believe a lot of those unique ideas apply to the approach to dungeon design. So I'm very curious, but I do think we have evidence at least of a dungeon to say a dungeon does exist. Look, there's a lot of images in the art book and a lot of things that we could speculate as a dungeon, but this is like the one page that really, to me, just, it's a dungeon. It's very clearly, to me, some sort of dungeon. You must accomplish tasks to progress, uh, and I do think that that's a wholly positive thing. So while we talked about how dungeons are probably here or will be here, this is sort of a confirmation, and to me, because this dungeon does look to be themed towards fire and lava, that appears to be me to be that's a themed dungeon so we're likely going to have other themed dungeons along the way but again this is just a theory a game theory very curious what you guys think also if you would like me to do any other speculation and or videos based around these leaked pages i'm trying to be very careful i don't really want to do any video where i'm showing off all the images again or anything crazy like that but I do want to at least try to present some content because this stuff does exist. And honestly, I did look at it clearly and I want to talk about it. So I make videos on the things I want to talk about. So I want to talk about it and I want to know if you're okay with me continuing to do so. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.